Welcome, lovely viewers, to another exciting video. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of 2006 Catalan regional election. We hope you find it enlightening. The 2006 Catalan regional election was held on Wednesday, 1 November 2006, to elect the 8th Parliament of the Autonomous Community of Catalonia. All 135 seats in the Parliament were up for election. This was a snap election, called roughly one year before the scheduled end of the legislature as a result of the uneasy and controversial drafting of the 2006 Statute of Autonomy of Catalonia, which further expanded the authority of the Catalan government. The statutory amendment had been ratified in a referendum on 18 June 2006 after being approved in the Cortes Generales with roughly 74% of voters in favour of the new statute and 21% against. The referendum was noted for its low turnout, as only 48.9% of all registered voters had cast a vote. Since the 2003 election, the left of centre coalition of the Socialists Party of Catalonia PSC, Republican Left of Catalonia ERC and Initiative for Catalonia Greenshinit and Alternative Left ICFUA have been in power with Pasual Maribel as Catalan president. In May 2006, the RC had left the coalition after internal tensions due to its disagreement on the final draft of the Statute of Autonomy approved by the Spanish Parliament, thus leaving Maribel without a majority and precipitating the early election call. On 21 June 2006, Maribel announced his will not to seek re-election arguably due to the political erosion his government had suffered after their uneasy relationship with ERC, as well as his political differences with Spanish Prime Minister and PSOE Secretary General José Luis Rodríguez Zapatero. Unlike the previous elections in 1999 and 2003, when Convergence and Union Xu had achieved a plurality of seats in the autonomous parliament despite narrowly losing it out in the popular vote to the PSC, in the 2006 election Xu emerged as the most popular party both in votes and seats, but fell far short of an absolute majority. After coalition negotiations, the PSC, ERC and ICFU agreed to renew the three-party coalition that had been in power in the period, this time under the leadership of the new PSC leader, José Montilla. The election also saw a new party, Citizens Seas, entering the autonomous parliament, resulting in six political parties achieving parliamentary representation in the Catalan parliament for the first time since 1988. In this segment, we'll be unravelling the complexities of electoral system and exploring its multifaceted nature. The Parliament of Catalonia was the devolved, unicameral legislature of the Autonomous Community of Catalonia, having legislative power in regional matters as defined by the Spanish Constitution and the Catalan Statute of Autonomy, as well as the ability to vote confidence in or withdraw it from a regional president. As a result of no regional electoral law having been approved since the re-establishment of Catalan autonomy, the electoral procedure came regulated under transitory provision 4th of the 1979 statute, supplemented by the provisions within the organic law of general electoral regime. Voting for the parliament was on the basis of universal suffrage, which comprised all nationals over 18 years of age, registered in Catalonia and in full enjoyment of their political rights. The 135 members of the Parliament of Catalonia were elected using the Taunt method and a closed-list proportional representation, with an electoral threshold of 3% of valid voters like included blank ballots being applied in each constituency. Seats were allocated to constituencies, corresponding to the provinces of Barcelona, Gerona, Lida and Tarragona, with each being allocated a fixed number of seats. Constituency Barcelona Gerona Lida Tarragona The use of the Tont method might result in a higher effective threshold, depending on the district magnitude. In this segment, we'll be unraveling the complexities of election date and exploring its multifaceted nature. The term of the Parliament of Catalonia expired four years after the date of its previous election, unless it was dissolved earlier. 
the regional president was required to call an election 15 days prior to the date of expiry of parliament, with election day taking place within from 40 to 60 days after the call. The previous election was held on 16 November 2003, which meant that the legislature's term would have expired on 16 November 2007. The election was required to be called no later than 1 November 2007, with it taking place up to the 60th day from the call, setting the latest possible election date for the Parliament on Monday, 31 December 2007. The President had the prerogative to dissolve the Parliament of Catalonia and call a snap election, provided that no motion of no confidence was in process and that dissolution did not occur before one year had elapsed since a previous one under this procedure. In the event of an investiture process failing to elect a regional president within a two-month period from the first ballot, the Parliament was to be automatically dissolved and a fresh election called. Let's now zoom in on parliamentary composition and uncover the hidden gems that lie within. The Parliament of Catalonia was officially dissolved on 8 September 2006, after the publication of the dissolution decree in the official journal of the Government of Catalonia. The table below shows the composition of the parliamentary groups in the chamber at the time of dissolution. Parliamentary composition in September 2006. Let's zoom in on parties and candidates and understand its implications. The electoral law allowed for parties and federations registered in the interior ministry, coalitions and groupings of electors to present lists of candidates. Parties and federations intending to form a coalition ahead of an election were required to inform the relevant electoral commission within 10 days of the election call whereas groupings of electors needed to secure the signature of at least 1% of the electorate in the constituencies for which they sought election, disallowing electors from signing for more than one list of candidates. Below is a list of the main parties and electoral alliances which contested the election. With our curiosity piqued, let's embark on a dedicated exploration of opinion polls and its fascinating intricacies. The tables below list opinion polling results in reverse chronological order, showing the most recent first and using the dates when the survey fieldwork was done, as opposed to the date of publication. Where the fieldwork dates are unknown, the date of publication is given instead. The highest percentage figure in each polling survey is displayed with its background shaded in the leading party's colour. If a tie ensues, this is applied to the figures with the highest percentages. The lead column on the right shows the percentage point difference between the parties with the highest percentages in a poll. Without wasting any more time, let's jump into the fascinating world of voting intention estimates. The table below lists weighted voting intention estimates. Refusals are generally excluded from the party vote percentages, while question wording and the treatment of don't know responses and those not intending to vote may vary between polling organizations. When available, seat projections determined by the polling organizations are displayed below or in place of the percentages in a smaller font. 68 seats were required for an absolute majority in the Parliament of Catalonia. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding overall and gain a fresh perspective. Parties and alliances vote blank ballots total valid votes invalid votes votes cast turnout abstentions registered voters sources. Summary of the 1 November 2006 Parliament of Catalonia election results. Our focus now turns to distribution by constituency an important aspect of our discussion. Constituency shoops ERCPP equivalencies data sort type a number percent data sort type a number south data sort type a number percent data sort type a number south data sort type a number percent data sort type a number south data sort type a number percent Barcelona twenty nine point nine twenty seven twenty seven point nine twenty five twelve point six eleven zero thirty eight point two seven twenty two point one four nineteen point two four leader forty seven twenty Two three seventeen point seven three Tarragona thirty two point four seven twenty six five seventeen point six three total thirty one point five forty eight twenty six point eight thirty seven fourteen twenty one sources. 
In this part of the video, we'll be delving deeper into Aftermath and analyzing its key components. Investiture Jose Montilipi SC Remember to follow me on social media for behind-the-scenes content and updates.